Hey, Kyle Paul here bringing you this next video. We'll call this video the puddle test. What we're looking at is how does the new 26 Tesla Model Y, the new hardware for computer respond to water on the road? One, does it see it? Two, if it sees it, how does it respond to it in real life? if the vehicle is in full self-driving mode. That's what I'm gonna be testing here with this video. Watch to the very end, because unexpectedly, we did get some rain, got pretty significant, and I was able to keep recording and doing a few more test runs, and the results did change with the rain. Watch to the end to see. And FSD. There's a few puddles on the right side. Some of them are deep, about four or five inches. One of them was about six inches deep. So let's just see how it does. With cars approaching, cars around, puddles, let's see how Tesla deals with all this. So here's the first puddle, it slows down, lets the car pass, goes around. Very cool. Sees the second puddle, I can see it here on the screen. Avoided it. Stays to the center, there's no cars on the left side probably what I would do if I was driving this car not in full self-drive. Here's the bigger puddle. Let's see how it responds here. It's going to go through it or avoid it. Alright, goes around. Gets back on the right side of the lane. Sees another puddle. Let's see what it does. Slows down. drives through. Let's give it another go. Let's see how it handles. See if there's a difference between the other run and this run. This one, the one we just passed wasn't a real puddle. Uh, there is a puddle that's coming up here. It's a pretty small one. Looks like it sees it, avoids it. No cars on the left side, so it just avoids the puddles on the right. There is a car now on the left side, so it doesn't want to merge back to where it needs to be. But still tries to avoid that small puddle we just passed. Now let's see what happens these two bigger ones. Sees it. Avoids it. Slows down. You can tell that there's a lot of control. Okay. Here's the next big puddle. This one's pretty deep. So it looks like it just completely wants to avoid it. it just wants to avoid all that area of water there. Let's record. I'll try to speed it up a little bit more just to see how it responds here. So there's a puddle, it wants to avoid it, it sees a car, so it really slows down, gets back into its lane, avoids both puddles, amazing. Exactly how I would have driven here if I was not in full self-drive. There's no puddles here, it just stays in its lane, it does exactly what you expect it to do, perfect. Okay, there's a smaller puddle here on the right, Usually it just avoids this one by going on the left side if there's no cars. It sees both side, both puddles, so it avoids both of them. Given that there's water on both sides, it kind of tries to stay, stay in the middle again. And then, here's the bigger one. Avoids it, sees the one on the left, goes more to the right again. Now this big one sees it. You can see here, it sees something. It avoids the whole area. Went really far to the left this time. Avoids this puddle. Which makes it a little harder to see these puddles. So let's see how Tesla does. Great timing with the rain. Let me turn on the wipers a little more so that the camera can see. Alright, so sees this puddle as usual, avoids it, kind of avoids this area. There's a car coming, but it still thinks it can make it, gets back into its lane. Perfect, very smooth, a lot of control. Let's see now with the rain if it can see the puddle better, if it sees it at all. slows down before the puddle. 
so it just slowed down. I decided to slowly approach the, the bottle. So. All nicely packaged. A little gray soft pad. This is more of that wood look. Work well for making videos. That'll both charge your device and hold your device. If you want to hide it. So this way, buddy. All right. Full self drive. Try to speed it up a little bit. Let's see how it does. Take this moment up. Seize the puddle. Avoids it. Seize the puddle on the left. Avoids it. Stays in its lane. It's only about 32, which is pretty good. It's hard to speed it up here because the speed limit here is 20. So I really can't get it to go much faster. But let's see how it does right here. So here's the first puddle. It just decides to go right through it. With no cars on the left. now with the rain. It's been raining for a good 10 minutes, so the roads are wet. I'll speed it up here to about 25, 20, we'll go up to 30. Um, and let's just see how it does. The roads are now pretty wet. It usually would avoid this puddle right here, but it doesn't, and there's no cars on the side. It goes right through this one. Normally it would go to the center and avoid it. But it looks like it's not seeing the water as well now because the roads are all wet. It does see this one. Avoid it. It does, I think, see this one. It slows down and avoids it. And it's not raining right now, though it just stopped raining. So it looks like it does much better when it's not raining. I All right, well, that's that. You saw exactly what I saw. Tesla does an amazing job. When the rain started, you likely saw, almost like it didn't always see the puddles. And it could be because of the rain affecting the visibility. It could be because the color of the road now was blending in with the color of the water that was on the road. But then the following three tests, rain really started coming down. And so for test five and six, it's almost like it didn't see the puddles on the road. It did respond to the bigger ones and it did slow down and it was being cautious. For the last test, number seven, you may have noticed the rain did slow down and it started responding much better. And so I don't know if that is because the visibility of the camera itself or I can't identify the difference between the color of the pavement when it's raining and the color of the water. That's a question that only Tesla can answer. I just want to bring you the results that I saw. I hope you enjoyed.